<laughs> it's, I have like a hate-love relationship with it because I love building the bridge and seeing the final product, but watching it snap, you know, it, it hurts a little. Building bridges can be difficult. <laughs> but the girls in Girl Scout Troop 13100 are bridge building pros. We are one of the many Girl Scouts here in the Triad, and we're mostly an outdoor troop. We love um, doing all kinds of adventures in the outdoors, but this is uh, something we picked up a couple years ago when I saw a flyer. Um, and we've been doing it since the first year they, they did it. I think it's going on four, maybe five years. They're participating in Bridging the Triad. It's a competition that the city puts out every year for uh, people in the Triad to learn about engineering skills. First we would have to like build the bridges with sticks, glue, um, and once they were built we would go and we the first time we did it, I had a lot of fun. And the day that they finally test your bridge, they put it over two tables and hook a bucket onto it and pour sand into the bucket until your bridge snaps. And that's it. So we have certain criteria we have to make to make the bridge. It has to be so long, has to be so high, has to be so wide. And that's the criteria. We can only use certain, we can only glue at certain points. Um, but using 100 popsicle sticks and almost glue. The event is put on by the recreation departments of six municipalities in the area, Greensboro, High Point, Kernersville, Lexington, Thomasville, and Winston-Salem. I think it's, it's important uh, for the sense that it just kind of brings us together, uh, you know, the small communities like, you know, Winston, Louisville, Kernersville, uh, Greensboro coming together and just friendly competition. There's also a form of networking there and, um, and getting to know one another and just making friends. So there's a lot of good things that come from that. Participants compete as individuals in four age groups, 8 to 10, 11 to 14, 15 to 17, and 18 and up. My daughter is a Girl Scout in Sonia's troop, um, and then uh, when she presented the flyers for this uh, competition, I, I thought it was a Girl Scout event, but it was an actual event for the city, and then it, and there's an age group for adults, and so uh, I decided, well, if my daughter is going to do this, I might as well do this with her and have it as a, you know, a father-daughter thing we can do together. Winston-Salem's local event will be held at Miller Park Community Center on Saturday, February 5th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., with winners moving on to the regional competition in Greensboro. Oh, a lot of the girls have gone to the regionals. My daughter's been to regionals. You'll see Lucy here in a minute. She's been to regionals. Several of my girls have, have won categories there or placed in the top three for sure. Packets containing the rules, glue, and craft sticks can be picked up at Miller Park Community Center starting January 14th. Building the bridges takes anywhere from a week to two weeks, depending on how determined you are. <laughs> we didn't do so well that time, uh, our first year, because we didn't know what we're, we were doing. Uh, and then we, were, we put the bridge to test and realized there's a lot of other people who's been doing this for a while, or, and there's, a, I think, a couple of uh, retired architects that that pretty much win it in the, that age group every year. Uh, we took a lot of pointers from them. Uh, I think they actually had a, uh, last year they had like a little Zoom meeting with the Girl Scouts to kind of give us their pointers on how they build their bridges, which we took to heart and kind of applied to our bridges. And, and uh, we did a lot better last year than we did the previous years. It's a great way for kids and adults to get into science and engineering. Over the years, I've definitely learned a lot about engineering and like what shapes build the strongest bridge. This, this has been exciting for me because I never really got into STEM, any kind of STEM activities when I was younger. I learned about like ways to like build it better and I mean I have a lot of fun with it too. And also have a little friendly competition. I've been to regionals and um, Juan, have you made it to regionals? By default, Ron Juan made it to regional. Our friendly competition was a cup of coffee, uh, and so I think she beat me by about 15 some pounds. The event is free, so pick up your packet at Miller Park today. Contact We Play Events at cityofws.org for more information. It's really fun. Um, I like it a lot. It's, it's 
社化身。